Saul Canelo Alvarez came out stating that he owns Mexican Independent Day, especially that weekend is his fighting date. And he planning on fighting Sandras. He stated Sandras is a great fighter, is a good matchup for him. He's a difficult softball, and he's looking forward to fighting him come May, since Money May is no longer in the picture. That being said, how y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Peace and blessings upon all my Akis and all my sisters out there. Welcome to Ak Aki Aki TV, however you want to call it. It means my brother slash migo slash however you say it in Filipino. So if you want to be part of the family, then subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these casual fans slash old media. Now Canelo Alvarez is looking for his next opponent. And he's looking to select between Smith at 168 and Saunders. Now there's good news and bad news depending on his selection. On one hand, Canelo Alvarez... If he fights either one of them guys, he could add another strap to his collection. However, on the flip side, if he fights a Saunders or a Smith, for example, it will be such a horrible look because facts say both fighters coming off bad performances. Smith, people felt like he robbed his last opponent. He should have lost that fight. On the other hand, Saunders... He hardly won his last fight against an unknown opponent, and he looked horrible at 168. So that being said, if Canelo Alvarez wants to continue claiming he's pound for pound number one, which we all know that's Terrence Bud Crawford, then he's going to have to move like a pound for pound number one should. Because fighting the Saunders and the Smith of the world coming off horrible performances Ain't gonna cut it. He has to fight the likes of Andres and Charlo to justify his position as pound for pound number one. If he's still claiming that spot, because I don't know if he is or not by the moves that he's making. I mean, let's face it, guys. Canelo Alvarez is in the prime of his career. He's 29 years old. And he letting a 41-year-old Manny Pacquiao outperform him. I mean, Manny Pacquiao yesterday came out calling out Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford. And he's 41. And we can't get Canelo Alvarez to get closer to an Andre or a Charlo, even in negotiations, let alone a real fight. I mean, he gave up his strap and requested a French Fries title that's not a belt, according to the WBC president, to avoid a Charlo. He was one fight removed from becoming undisputed at the middleweight division and fulfilling his dream of becoming the first Mexican undisputed middleweight champion ever. All he had to face was an Andre, and he gave up on his long-living goal, even though Andre fights for the zone. So it's a horrible look that you let in. A Pacquiao outperform you at 41, and you claiming you pound for pound number one. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, Canelo Alvarez can't claim he pound for pound number one because he's not even number one in his own division at 160, where he gave up all his straps because the competition was too tough. Then how you claim you pound for pound number one is the million-dollar question reporters and media members need to ask Canelo Alvarez. I mean, y'all got to keep in mind. It ain't like Aki's the only one saying this. You got Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo Alvarez on promoter stated, Charlo and Andre fights are the fights that will define his career and legacy. You got Chavez Sr., a legendary Mexican fighter, Morales, Barrera, Marquez, Cosan and Oscar saying the same thing us new media been preaching from day one. However, Canelo Alvarez fans, on the other hand, they just want to see him win. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But let's see him win versus the best, shall we? I mean, why keep seeing Canelo fight guys that's on their way out the door where Canelo has every advantage in the world? And then when it's... A legit opponent like Benavidez calling him out. Canelo replies by saying he's not going to fight 
a Mexican fighter. Even though we had all these Mexican legends fight each other from the Barrera, Morales, and the Vargas, Salidos, to the Barreras, Marquesas. So it been a lot of great Mexican wars over the years of boxing. It's becoming a tradition almost, right? All these great Mexican fighters that's coming out of Mexico fighting each other. However, Canelo Alvarez want to change the tradition. Why? Because he has a, a real opponent in front of him. I mean, when he fought Angulo and Lopez, he didn't say, well, those guys are Mexican. I, I can't fight them. But when it's Benavidez, then, oh, no, nah, he Mexican. I don't want to fight my brothers. That's why it's a little fishy. That's why Canelo stays making himself look bad in the media. Because when it was Lopez, who was a 140-pounder that upset it, Ortiz, he had no problem fighting him. He didn't question the fact he Mexican and said absolutely not. But when it's a real 168-pounder, Benavidez, then he's going to question the fact that he Mexican and he don't want to fight his brothers. And Canelo been contradicting himself time and time again over the years. That's why he been making himself look bad. Because like I said, this ain't the first time and it won't be the last. He even talked about Sandras in a bad light at one point. And now he looking to fight him. He stated Sandras in the past is born. He runs too much. And now when he looked horrible against the nobody, now he's stating he's a great fighter and he looking to fight him. So basically what I get from Canelo is if he feel like you beatable, he's going to fight you. If you looking unbeatable, then he's going to second guess. He's going to basically doubt you because all these people that's complaining about Charlo and Andre and then complaining about who they fought, right? When Charlo knocked out J-Rock William, the unified champion at 154 today, I didn't hear nobody bring that up. And y'all got to keep in mind who Rocky Fielding fought. I didn't hear y'all question him. So like I said, if you not fighting the top of your class, like Andre and Charlo, then what is you talking about? How are you questioning the realest champions and fight tomato cans instead? And claim the realest champions need to prove themselves. Man, Canelo be bugging out. And that's why Canelo Alvarez is not pound for pound number one. And that's why Canelo Alvarez will never get close to Floyd Mayweather legacy. He has a limit on him. If y'all took algebra and calculus in high school and in college, y'all know what that limit is. You could get close to it, but you could never touch it. He could never touch Floyd Mayweather's resume or what he did in the sport, especially after he spanked him and gave him a PhD degree and he couldn't graduate, so he ended up with a bachelor degree. But the main point is, Canelo Alvarez can never touch Floyd Mayweather's legacy or resume. And the reason why is because of these decisions that he's making. I mean, they are poor decisions, to say the least. Because Canelo, y'all got to keep in mind, he never had a pretty boy stage. And what I mean by that is when Floyd Mayweather was pretty boy, he called out everybody. For 10 years, he fought the best and beat the best. Canelo Alvarez never had that stage. And then when Floyd Mayweather became the cash cow and beat Oscar De La Hoya and became a yard with only 12 amateur fights and 18 pro fights, and that version of yard almost beat him, he fought that version of Kovalev. Then he looking to fight Smith or Saunders after both of them had a horrible performance their last fight. So, I mean, the writing is on the wall. I don't even got to say much. The facts speaks for me. So, like I always say, if you're a casual fan and you don't know what's happening and you want to become a hardcore boxing fan, then attend the IQ University for free. All you got to do is subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. And if you're trying to get dumb about a second, then don't and listen to these casual fans or old media or your friends who keep lying to you, telling you Canelo is the best. And every time you tell them, well, how come he don't fight Charlo and Andre? They've been around his division for six years. We've been talking about that fight 
for six years and it haven't taken place yet. And they obviously going to keep lying and lying to you. All you got to do is direct them to the truth. And that's Aki TV. Tell them, call in to Split Decision every Sunday if they want to debate. If they even dream about debate, they better wake up and apologize and call in to Split Decision and apologize to this Aki before I take out of school. So obviously, if you want to go to school for free, call in Split Decision every Sunday and click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live. And obviously, follow my man Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. If a picture says a thousand words, his picture says a million words. So make sure y'all follow my man. I will leave his link in the description box below. And right below that, y'all could see the link for the Aki merch slash drip. If you want to be dripped up like the Aki be on Split Decision. So go ahead and cop that Aki merch. I appreciate every single one of my Aki's slash my brother slash my amigo slash however you say it in Filipino. Shout out to DBN. Shout out to New Media. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.